What is going on guys? Grave here. Today let's talk about how you can buy companion gear from NPCs in game. And why you're going to want to do this is if you want to make your companion a tank or maybe a healer or something that you're not getting the gear with uh, kind of to begin with. You know to begin with they do come with some gear but if you're looking for tank gear you might not get it to drop for a while. So you can come to some of these uh, NPCs and buy any type of gear that you want. Now I am here in uh, Leowen. Of course you can kind of see where I'm at right here on the map. This is going to have the leather worker, the tailor, the woodworker, the armorer, and the weaponsmith. Now you can find these in several different zones in the game, pretty much every big town in the game. So anywhere you go, if you have your, you know, if you have the companion, uh, if you have either one of your companions, however you want to use them, however you want to build them, you can go purchase your gear from these NPCs. Now this will be white gear. It will not have any kind of traits on them, but it does work. As you can see right here, uh, kind of on Bastion right now because I haven't really got anything to drop. Uh, I have some of this white gear on him. So I have the mace and the shield because I decided to make Bastion my tank. Of course the shield I did get to drop is a green shield but you can see I bought a lot of white pieces, white uh, heavy armor to make him the tank. So you, you want heavy armor uh, for your tank. So if you wanted something like a healer you'd want light. Uh, if you wanted a mage DPS you'd want light gear, stamina DPS, medium gear and kind of so on. Uh, the only thing that the NPCs do not sell is jewelry. Now, you won't have a jewelry slot down here until you find a piece. I actually got this one out of one of the Oblivion portals of the day from the final boss uh, yesterday, actually. Uh, of course, it opened up both ring slots. I have not found a neck yet, so that's why I don't see the neck here. But you cannot buy jewelry from uh, any of these NPCs, just your gear. So, you know, just your apparel on your body or your weapons. Uh, another thing you might want to know real quickly is you're going to need to equip at least... Everybody says at least three pieces for the skill line to work. It is really a, a, at least five. You're going to need at least five pieces on at one time. That way you can rank the skill line for the certain apparel up. So in other words, you're not going to be able to rank up but one skill line for your armor at a time. But when you're at these um, uh, certain you know, NPCs, you can see here at the woodworker, if you click on the woodworker, you can see the companion eye staff, inferno, lightning, restoration. Of course, here upstairs as well. You can see something like the uh, weaponsmith, which is going to have your two-handed weapons, your one-handed weapons, that kind of thing, your swords, all that good stuff. Also, if you go back downstairs, if you decide to come over here and purchase your gear, uh, all the one good thing about this area is all the uh, vendors are right here together, where some zones are a little bit spread apart. So that's one good thing about uh, purchasing that gear here in Leowen is it's really, really close together upstairs and downstairs. So if you go to the armorer, of course, you're going to have the heavy gear here, the leather uh, worker, the uh, the leather smith is going to have all of your medium gear, of course. And then last but not least, your um, tailor is going to have all of your light gear for any kind of light gear build you want. Like I said, you're going to get some gear with your companions when you, you know, you first unlock them if you haven't unlocked them yet. But the gear you get may not be exactly what you want, like I said. So I had to go buy a whole set of heavy for uh, Bastion because of course neither one of them come with heavy gear but luckily all this stuff is really really cheap as you can see I mean I think the most I paid for any piece was like five or six hundred gold the bad thing is in case you have not seen my kind of guide on companions this stuff does take up inventory space for you so you're going to take up bag space with all this stuff so just keep that in mind but anyway guys uh, let me know if you have been purchasing this kind of gear if you've been getting a lot of drops I have not got a lot of drops yet I've gotten uh, a couple pieces that you just saw here on Bastion. I've gotten two pieces for Miri that are light. Uh, one blue and one green. Besides that, I've got a few bows, uh, but nothing too great. No, no great traits or anything like that. Make sure you're keeping up with what traits are on that gear because depending on how you want to build your uh, companion, however you want to use it, the traits uh, are definitely going to be a big part of that. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.